day students i welcome you all to the lagos state e-learning platform my name is okewo adewale your economics instructor for today i shall be taking you through the meaning of budgets and national debt at the end of the lesson you should be able to one define budgets identify the types of budget as well as highlight the importance of budget two enumerate and discuss the objectives of government in embarking on either surplus or deficit budget and how deficit budgets can be financed three discuss national debt types of national debt causes of national debt and the effect of debt on the development of the economy meaning of budget Budget can be described as an annual financial plan of the total estimated revenue and the proposed expenditure of government in a given period of time, usually a year. It is important to note that preparation of budget in a financial year is not limited to the government alone, as both individuals as well as business organizations engage in this activity. However, our concern here is on government as it relates to the three tiers, federal, state, and local government. In Nigeria, the budget is prepared by the budget office under the Ministry of Economic Planning and Budget, based on the expected revenue of government, known through the various sources of government revenue and the objectives or the areas of government expenditure. This is shown in the diagram one. In diagram one, we have sources of government revenue, royalties, borrowing, taxes, rate and rent, fines and charges, toll fees, grants and aid, etc. Then on that area of government expenditure, we have infrastructure development, security and national defense, general administration, education, health, transportation, social security and emergencies, etc. At this point, learners, I want you to make a personal budget, taking into consideration your expected revenue and your proposed expenditure. The budget for Nigeria in the year 2020 2020 stand at 10.59 trillion naira this is however being reviewed downward to 10.27 trillion naira as a result of the economic recession occasioned by the dwindling price of crude oil and the effect of the covid-19 pandemic lagos state government also budgeted 1.168 trillion naira for year 2020 which is currently being considered for a review this is shown in the diagram 2 in the diagram 2 we have the budget for 2020 for federal government and budget for year 2020 for lagos state government types of budget budget can be classified into three different types surplus budget deficit budget and balanced budget i'll take them one after the other surplus budget a budget is described as a surplus budget when the expected revenue of government is greater than the proposed expenditure that is the government plans to generate more revenue from the economy than it plans to spend especially from tax collection deficit budget this occur when government expected revenue is less than the proposed expenditure that is the government intends to spend more on the economy than it intends to generate from revenue collection balance budget this occurs when the expected revenue is equal or same as the proposed expenditure that is government plans to spend the exact amount it plans to generate from the revenue collection 
This is, however, difficult to realize in real life situation. Importance or uses of budget. The budgets can be used to achieve the following. One, allocation of resources. Two, to communicate government economic policies to the various sectors of the economy. Three, appraisal of government performance in various sectors. Four, to foster economic growth and economic development. And five, to curb inflation and deflation. I thank you all for your attention and participation. Please join me in the next broadcast. Thank you. I welcome you back to the continuation of our lesson on budget and national debt. Reasons why governments embark on surplus budget. There are several reasons why governments adopt a surplus budget in a particular fiscal year. This includes 1. To curb inflation. When government notice a persistent rise in the general price level occasioned by increase in money supply, government can plan to reduce the purchasing power of the people through high tax as well as reduction in government expenditure all of which are stated in the annual financial plan of government. 2. To reduce the cost of borrowing interest rate. During this period, there is low level of consumption, which results into low level of investment, thereby lowering interest rate. 3. It is an indication of a heavy economy, that is, when government can boast of huge amounts of money in savings, which can either be used to service existing debt or used for future investment. 4. Surplus budget also allows flexibility in the running of the economy. Effects of surplus budget. The following are the effects of surplus budget. 1. Low level of consumption, which is occasioned from low purchasing power of various economic units in the country. 2. Low level of investment. This is brought about as a result of reduction in the demand for goods and services as a result of reduction in the purchasing power of the various economic units in the country. Low level of economic growth. This is as a result of decrease in the production of goods and services as a result of decrease in the level of investment. 4. Low quality of public goods such as roads, hospitals, schools, etc. as a result of reduction in government expenditure. We we'll now go on to deficit budget. Government could embark on deficit budget for the following reasons. 1. To stimulate demand. That is, to encourage the consumption of goods and services through a reduction in tax rates to increase the purchasing power of the people. 2. To encourage investment through the reduction in taxes and provision of infrastructural facilities through increased government expenditure. And finally, to provide high quality public goods through increased government expenditure. Effects of deficit budget. One, increase in national debt. Deficit budget leads to increase in national debt as this period is characterized with increased borrowing as a result of increased government expenditure. 2. High interest rate. As a result of increased economic activities, there is increase, for, increase in demand for um, capital, which leads to increase in 
interest rate. Three, inflation caused by increased in money supply through government expenditure and increase in demand for goods and services. Four, deficit budgets indicate an unhealthy economic situation as a result of increased amount of national debt. How deficit budget can be financed? Deficit budget can be financed through external and internal through borrowing, that is external and internal sources. Two, taxation. In increase in taxation increases revenue to the government. And lastly, printing of money. I thank you for your attention and participation. Please join me in the next broadcast. You are welcome back to the continuation of this broadcast. We have considered the meaning of budget, types and uses of budget. I shall now be discussing with you the meaning of national debt. National debt refers to the debt a country holds its citizens. Other countries or organizations such as the International Monetary Fund, IMF, World Bank, Paris Club, and so on and so forth. Nigeria's national debt stands at 68.7 billion US dollars, which is equivalent to 24.947 trillion naira as at 2019. Types of national debt. National debt is classified into two internal and external debt. I shall take them one after the other. Internal debt. This refers to the borrowing within the country, that is, the debt a country owes its citizens, usually in the domestic currency. This can be borrowing through the government bond or from the commercial banks. External debt. This refers to the debt a country owes other countries or international financial institutions such as IMF, World Bank, Paris Club, International Bank for the Construction and Development, and Nezim Bank of China. At this point, I direct you to table one where we have the national debt profile of Nigeria. I now move to the causes of national debt. The national debt of Nigeria is caused by the following. One, deficit spending, that is financing of budget deficits, where government embark on spending more than the revenue generated from the economy. Two, slow economic growth, that is the decrease in economic activities which reduces investment and capital formation. Three, inefficient trade and exchange rate policy, that is low trade activities which often takes the form of primary products and fluctuating exchange rates will lead to increase in borrowing to finance government expenditure. Four, poor debt management practices. And five, accumulation of areas and penalties arising from existing debt. Now we move on to consequences of national debt. This includes one, debt servicing, which is a repayment uh, plan put in place by the government to reduce the national debt. But however, this reduces government expenditure on goods and services that will encourage economic growth and economic development. Two, reduction of inflow of foreign direct investment. Three, rise in the cost of imports which causes imported inflation. 
Four, difficulty in obtaining new loan from creditors. Now, to solutions to national debt. The following can be used to reduce the burden of national debt. One, increase in taxes or surplus budgeting. This will ensure that more revenue is generated and government can save to service the existing debt and embark on future investment. Two, reduction in government expenditure. Government can cut down expenditure as a way of reducing the pressure on income and the pressure on borrowing more fine uh, more fund three debt debt ceilings that is government should set a limit for borrowing whether internal or from external sources which government cannot go beyond and four economic growth that is government should encourage production of goods and services through investments in productive sectors to create more capital for the economy I thank you sincerely for listening to this broadcast. I want you to evaluate your level of understanding with the following questions. Why do country borrow? Two, what are the effects of national debt on the development of the economy? And lastly, how can the problem of national debt be solved?